Hello, I'm Eric Worthington, online marketing consultant, and welcome to another episode of Online Brand Video Review, in which I pick a business or you recommend one, just leave a suggestion in the comments below, and I review the effectiveness of that business's overall online brand. Today we're going to be looking at Sadler's Home Furnishings. So let's jump over to their website and take a look. Sadler's Homes Furnishings is a business located in Alaska. I remember because when I lived in Anchorage, Sadler's, I was a customer of Sadler's. Here's an overview of what we're going to see. Their web page, search results, Google My Business, Facebook page, Facebook ad library, and we'll end with a wrap up. So here we are looking at their web page. You can tell their domain is literally Sadler's.com. You don't get any better than that. Uh, sometimes having a word that represents the name of the business, like Sadler's Home Furnishings, makes a longer domain, but it does have um, the actual keywords used for the business inside the domain. Sadler's is a very well-established business, so having a simple, the name of the business is well-branded in Alaska, works for them as well. The first thing I'm, I notice is in my little pixel tracker up here. Uh, it's just a free app from the web store. It's telling me they have over six pixels running on their main Facebook page. That's very good. That's going to tell me that they most likely are going to have some Facebook ads. They're definitely going to have some integration with our Facebook page. Comments there might be seen as comments here on the web page for your blog posts or whatnot or advertisements, things like that. Definite some uh, commingling going on between Facebook and their web page. Um, we can also verify that by taking a look inside their uh, HTML code for the web page. And here we are looking at that. That's just control U brings you right there. So the title of their web page is Sadler's Home Furnishings, Anchorage, Fairbanks, Sterling, Alaska Furniture, and Mattress Store. Pretty much says it all. You get their locations in that title. You get the basic keywords that their furniture and mattress store. And, uh, and of course, locations, Anchorage, Fa um, Fairbanks, and Sterling. That's very good. So what does that kind of stuff show up when you're looking at a website? Well, if you hover over what's called this favicon, you'll see that. Sadler's Home Furnishings, Anchorage, Fairbanks, Sterling. See how it doesn't actually say there, but that's all right. You don't really, nobody spends time hovering over these things, except for Google spiders that crawl them over them every night. Favicon, I touched on that. Favicon, they've taken, um, that is the what shows up next to the domain. Um, over here, you can see like uh, Facebook is the big blue box with the white F and uh, Google Docs is its own thing. Well, they've chosen a very good um, small representation of their logo, just the S from Sadler's. That's a very good idea because if you try to cram an entire logo into this tiny little pixel by pixel thing, it doesn't really work that well. So, but that is a very recognizable S as being the type font for Sadler's. So I like that very much. Let's jump back to the sheet and see what we can write down. All right, I wrote a few, th few things down. Their domain is short. It, it is their name, which is always good. Uh, for startups, which Sadler's is not a startup, but for startups, I do recommend adding a keyword straight into the domain itself. Um, that way it's seen everywhere, keywords that represent your business. Logo placement, excellent. Upper, I said upper, I wrote upper right, but it's in the upper left, of course, because the upper left uh, is the typical location the human eye sees first. So that's a very good, um, good use of the uh, of logo placement there. Uh, I'll make some general notes. The favicon, excellent, good use of branding. They use the S, the font script for the letter S from their brand. Good, good, where good hover keywords. But I want to take another look at the Facebook pixel, the Google Analytics, and some more SEO keywords on their page. So let's jump back over to the HTML code for that. So again, we saw their title, Sadler's Home Furnishings, Anchorage, Fairbanks, Sterling. That's good for a title. But here's the rest of their meta text, which is a little bit intriguing. Where'd it go? I lost it. Um, here we go. The content is shop Sadler's Home Furnishings for an amazing selection of furniture and mattress, mattress in the Anchorage, Fairbanks, Sterling, Alaska area. Again, it's good. It covers everything, their locations, what they primarily sell, furniture and mat and mattresses. Um, I, I, it's almost identical to the title, and this is the this is a content description for Meta Text. Um, you you can make it. Uh, you can actually have it more disjointed. You can actually have it have more uh, uh, varied. What are people searching for on the internet when you want them to find your business? Those are keywords, so you want to find those things. And they may be saying if they're saying I need to buy a mat mattress near me then mattress is the keyword. If, if they're saying, I'm looking for a new bedroom set, 
Well, guess what? They're, it's, it's not going to pick up that way. You need to actually have the word bedroom set. So you kind of want to think about the keywords for your, for your, for that. So again, looking for the word Facebook, we definitely show up down here. There's a pixel ID, Facebook pixel ID, and it gives their number. That's what's associating everything they're doing on Facebook, any Facebook advertising, uh, with behaviors that the customers that visited their Facebook page might also visit their website, and it tracks all of that visitation. It's how you can attribute sales to Facebook advertising. So very important to have a Facebook pixel ID, and I'm not surprised to see it here. This one is the Google Analytics, and that that's surprising. They don't actually have a Google Analytics. In Google itself, they just have mentioned to site verification. They have um, uh, that is uh, is authenticated by Google is false. The current Google Auth client ID um, is, uh, is a cookie ID that's been hashtagged. Um, not what I'm used to seeing with Google Analytics. So this will be interesting if we see any Google ads when we jump into the searching department here because it's not uh, specifically showing Google, um, Google Analytics, uh, the number associated with Google Analytics. It's not showing up. So that will be interesting to see. Let's go back to the sheet and see if we can't write some more notes. So Facebook Pixel, yes, and it has its with multiple events. Events are the things that people do on your web page that trigger Facebook to recognize, hey, something just happened on the website, like buying something, looking at a page, things like that. Google Analytics, no. Um, at least not the way I'm used to seeing it. I didn't see it. SEO keywords, I think could use some help, could use some diversity. Get, get, let me see some more of your product set inside that. All right, let's uh, jump down and look at what we're going to be looking at next. Search results. So from a clean browser with keywords and location, I'm gonna, we're going to see if, if they have any Google ads. We're going to see map results for them, Google search results based on different searches, and, of course, a little bit of competition research. So I like to use Firefox and not log in. So let me get in there, and we'll look them up. Okay, I've opened up Firefox, and then within Firefox, I opened up a uh, incognito or a private window. Not all that private, but it's one more step away from being um, it tracking me at all or knowing any of my previous searches, and I don't log into Firefox. So, we're clean. I'm searching on Anchorage Furniture Store. Here we go. Do, 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 do. So, our first hit is C, Anchorage Furniture Store. The um, top ones are Ashley, 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 Home Depot, and Ashley. Um, and then down in the um, in the hits with the map, very important place to be, is uh, Ashley, Bailey's, and Bailey's Clearance Center. And then well, who is the top result underneath the map is Sadler's. Sadler's Home Furnishings, Anchorage, Fa Fairbanks, Sterling. Below that is Williams K, Bailey's Furniture, Ashley Furniture, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to open up a few of their competitors. Be right back. Okay, when I look down to more places in the map section on this um, Google search, I do have uh, Ashley Home Store as our top hit, Bailey's, Bailey's Clearance Center down there, and then there's Sadler's down here. So um, um, they did not show up in the map listing, the generic map listing that you first hit, nor do they show up in the advertisements running across the top. But when you go for more, then they show up lower on the list. So here's their little plug for Google. This is going to be... Um, Nap listing, also called, well, nap listing is different, but Google My Business. Sadler's Home Furnishings, 4.6 out of 677 uh, possible. They're, they got an overall rating of 4.6. Furniture store, Anchorage, in University Center, opens, closes, blah, blah, blah. Um, and and th there they are. So if I open up their Google My Business page, then what do we see? We've got located in University Center. Then it also has the address. It's got its hours. It has the coronavirus um, mentioning that the hours might be interrupted. It's got a phone number. That's good. Suggest, manage this listing, question and answers, ask a question, popular times, got all that. And here's write a review. Very good. Um, it's uh, There's its rating, overall 4.6. The Google My Business looks pretty good. Um, I'd like to see... Um, it a little bit higher in the map listing. I want it on page one of returns for searching Anchorage Furniture Store. Sadler's should be the top hit. And uh, um, and 
um, I know how to help make that happen. Anyways, here's um, here they are here though. And then while I was there, I also pulled up several of their competitors. So one of them shows up as a William and K. Not familiar with them. Does say they're located on East Benson in Anchorage. Uh, just looking. I'm not going to really dig through their webpage too much, uh, but um, but they put a large uh, thing up front about. Um, Staff answering phone calls. Most it doesn't say anything about COVID or Corona virus, but I'm sure that's what that's related to. That they're uh, limited staff, but they are answering calls. But that's um, W and K showed up above um, Sadler's in the in the in the in the Google search. Bailey's again um, showed up above them in the Google search. Very busy front end. Oh, look at that. We have a little bot over here. Hi there. Have a question? Start texting with us with their logo in it. That's good. Um, and they look pretty good, pretty, what you'd expect to see in a furniture store. And the next one is, is Ashley. This one was interesting because even though it showed up above Sadler's in the map listing, the actual link brings you to their, um, locations page, probably because I searched on the word Anchorage and, uh, and they are probably located in other cities in Alaska as well. But that is something you can control so that you can force um, uh, fresh visitors that come from Google to your homepage, but coming to the location page is good as well. So they have a COVID-19, um, like, like everybody else. One more we'll look at is, who is this? Furniture Classics AK. A little strange, a little comes right into a pop-up. Although we're closed, we're still working, checking me. So this is a pop-up they built for the virus. Gives you a phone number and an email right away. Uh, that will, by the way, I noticed that was a Gmail. Eh, I like to see um, professional uh, uh, domain related email addresses uh, like, you know, info at Furniture Classic AK, something like that. So otherwise, pretty straightforward. Looks like it's built in a pretty, it's built, what does that say? Built by Vidial. Okay, let's jump back over to who we're talking about today, Sadler's. Okay, I wrote down a few of those results so far. Google ad? Nope, there was no Google ad. Map results? No, surprisingly, they did not show up in the map section. At least not in the main map section until you opened it up, broadened it up a little bit. Uh, Google search, search results? Yes, they were the top result for Google search. That's the section right below the maps. They, they were actually the top result. Competition? I just put down two of them, Williams and Kay and Bailey's. I'm going to go back and search on some different keywords. One moment. Okay, let's search on Anchorage Mattress Store, since that's what they say they are the top sellers of. So the top is an advertisement for the sleep number bed. Obviously, it's not going to be specifically be Anchorage, but they're buying an ad. Second is Wayfair Mattresses. That's buying an ad. Third is info.com forward slash web, blah, blah, blah. Mattress stores in Anchorage. So that's going to be some kind of consolidation effort that's going on there. So the ads are not exciting. Let's look to the right real quick. Um, Sattva, JCPenney, Big Fig Mattress, who's putting out these ads. Dream Cloud Mattress Firm, Nectar Sleep. There's Ashley, JCPenney, and Nectar Sleep. So um, under the map listings, who shows up? Mattress Firm Anchorage, top place. The Ultimate Mattress Store, second place, and Mattress Ranch. Hey, I've been to Mac Mattress Ranch. I remember that in the past. So again, they're not showing up in our map listing, which is... Not good. You should definitely be getting up into the map listing. On, now, in the Google search results, which are outside of the map listing, right below it, they are not the number one. Ultra, ultra, ultimate Mattress is. I'm going to um, open that in a new tab. Mattress Firm. J.C. Penny, Yelp, Yelp, Sleep Number, there's Sadler's. So Sadler's is down below the fold, I would call that, where it's um, uh, somebody put this generic sleep number bed thing in there. There's Sadler's down there. So it is on page one of results, but it's towards the bottom. Um, and then there's Bailey's as well. So I'm just going to grab these two, Ultimate Mattress as a competitor. Um, interesting. Isn't that exactly the same notice that that other website had? How fascinating. That this may be an example of someone business owner who's building an entire page for furniture and building an entire page for mattresses because they get higher Google search results if you be specific instead of generic. Um, not sure if that's the case, but kind of looks like it because it's the exact same notice or they stole the notice from somewhere else. Mattress Firm shows up um, straight into their mapping section of where they're located and on Seward Highway and then it goes into some of their sales and deals and yeah, that's uh, that's fine. So, 
main takeaway here, you're not showing up in the map listings. I can help with that, and it uh, looks like you need some help with that. Let's, uh, let's, let's take some note. Just go over again these real quick. Google Ad, no. Map results for Anchorage Furniture Store, no map results. Map results for searching on Anchorage Mattress Store, no map results. Google search results for Furniture Store, yes, top result. Google search results for Mattress in Anchorage, What my search, no. Didn't show up in Google. Well, you did, but it was lower on the first page. I, I like things up high. Competition, uh, Williams and Kay and Bailey's Furniture. All right, let's move on to our next section. In this section, we're going to be looking at their Google My Business setup, which we've already peeked at, but we'll just do a thorough review. Is the logo there? Is it easily re Do they have any reviews? Do they have our address, phone, and email? And anything sta else stand out about their Google My Business? Let's take a look. All right, here we are back on their Google my business site this is that site that google will begin to put together on its own and then you need to claim ownership of so um saddler's home furnishings it's got a link to their website it's got directions you can save it it's got excellent reviews 4.6 uh over all 677 google reviews um i do have the ability to assist with google reviews to help the business owner um interact with the customer that might give them a less than four, less than five, less than three, whatever you choose, uh, star review. Uh, it enables some interaction with that customer prior to the review getting hit, hitting the streets. So it, it can actually push you to that 4.6 right up closer to five, although 4.6 is very good. Tells you where you're located, gives you your address, gives you your hours, phone number, Come, we've been through this. It, the only thing it doesn't give me right up front is an email. Um, I like that. Um, I mean, I like to see an email and uh, I'm not seeing that here. And uh, otherwise, this is all standard Google type stuff. Um, that it's showing up and of course at the bottom it's going to give you your, where your Facebook page is located and um, and your and that they're matching up the nap listing name address phone with Yelp so you can see that at the bottom there that's how Google my business does its work is by going to all the other places where your name address phone number might be and comparing it to make sure it all matches so sometimes not showing up in a Google map listing can be can be because the information in your Google my business does not match 100% with information in other location type searches like Yelp like um, and I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but there's lots of places you can go to search, Bing, other search engines, and other places that consolidate furniture stores and mattress companies, and, and your information might not match. And Google says, if it doesn't match, you don't go on our map. So that's a possibility of what's happening there. Something I could look into and fix for you quite easily. Real quick, I was starting to write it down. And I realized it, there's no logo. The the logo doesn't show up. You can force um, any picture you want to be the main picture displayed. And, uh, oh, there, look at that. See, now that picture with the logo could have been a better choice for your main picture in your Google My Business. Um, although, personally, I would go with something more graphic to draw the eye. This is nice, it's furniture, and that is what you sell, and, but I do want to see your logo or something representing your business name right there in a graphic form in your Google My Business. I just think it's a good idea. So again, in the Google My Business, was their logo represented? No, not at all. Business name is hidden in a photo, and of course, at the top of the Google My Business, but no logo. Reviews, yes, good job there. Address, phone, email, everything but email. Easy to fix. All right, I just hopped into a, a non-logged in Facebook and to their web page. Um, very, I don't remember that particular color scheme being that strong on their web page. Um, I like to see a carryover between Facebook and your web page. You are trying to create dialogue nowadays between your main page and your Facebook page. And um, so that's my very first impression. That's a very large block of orange. And I don't recall that being the specific color scheme from your website maybe i missed it but um but other than that um right there it says saddler's home furnishings anchorage obviously in the circle that somebody built that to fit in that circle very nicely done the s fits saddler's home furnishing anchorage it all fits you'd be surprised how many times the logo doesn't fit and then in the actual um display uh section uh it all fits as well now they're both exactly matching which maybe that maybe the display section the rectangle would have been a better place for a um for that picture that had the saddlers over the furniture or something like that um but uh but still it works 
Let's scroll down and first I'd like to check the about section right over here. It's got the phone number, it's got contact, that's going to be messenger, good job. It's got saddlers.com and it's got the furniture store. There's no, again, no email address. I like to see an email address, but you know, that's just me um, and easy to do. Let's check out the, uh, how old some of these posts are. February 15th uh, is the last post. Whoa, wait a minute, these can't be in order. Oh, I see. That one's pinned from 2017. Thanks for visiting Facebook page. We maintain this consumer for consumer check-ins, reviews, directions, communication. Please visit Sadler Lady page for our ongoing community interaction featuring Victoria. Well, I'm going to open up and take a look at that. Open in a new tab. But um, interesting thing to pin. Um, don't, I don't recommend keeping pins since 2017 that's kind of a couple years old i would uh change even if it's going to say exactly the same thing at least repost it so it's got the fresher date on it right below that though does show your last post which was 2018 so obviously you don't spend a lot of time on this facebook page that can be confusing um uh, if you've got multiple pages, which and then below that there's almost nothing. There's obviously you had some posts 2018 da, 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 Some kind of advertising and stuff. So I'm going to jump over to the Sadler's lady um, The Sadler's lady picture see she's holding the icon. I mean the, the representation She's sitting in some kind of cockpit. That's cool. And uh, she's got a thumbs up. That looks cool and uh, And this has nothing to do with anything this picture related to furniture or mattresses but it's still a nice picture and let's see what we got down here less nesman um funny funny things don't need to look at that right now here's a video awesome sofa just the right size beautiful uh, a man ahead of his time the inventor of so the inventor of social distancing so that's 16 hours ago from the saddler's lady that's pretty cool um, that you have something that's very updated and funny right there or um, right there 16 hours ago again something related to social distancing um, find a realistic Barbie and uh, good jokes good jokes from the Sadler's lady uh, very nice well let's uh, I'm gonna jump over to I'm gonna take this page and go over to my logged in and I'll be right back so here at the Saddler's Lady Facebook page for Saddler's Furniture, they do have an automated pop-up. You see it down here, the Saddler's Lady asking very generic questions. Can you recommend something for me? How much does your product cost? Can someone assist me? What's popular right now? Are those really questions people would ask if they're approaching a furniture store on Facebook? I'm not, I'd have to sit down and think about that. But I would imagine we can come up with customized uh, introductory, um, hey, come chat with us kind of um things uh, a little bit better than that. Um, other than that, um, the Facebook page looks very similar, the Sadler's Lady one to in the non-logged in version. Um, the, it's got a whole bunch of the, all the stuff in the about section. It's got the posts, the videos, the funny stuff. I like that. Very good. So let's jump back over to, the, to my notes. So I popped over to the Facebook ad library where it brings up um, any current Facebook ads that are currently running that you can find and uh, look up uh, Sadler's Home Furnishing and apparently they have no current Facebook advertising going on. Uh, it obviously found the right page. There's a big orange thing and things like that. So I'm not uh, clearly seeing anything there. I'm going to see if it'll let me hang on. And over here at the Sadler's Lady, according to Facebook ad library, there's no current ad running here either. Some interesting information about the page was created in 2010. And um, and it has 56,000 likes. Let's jump back to the uh, main pages in and see how many likes it has. 56,000 for Sadler Lady, 337 likes for the home furnishings. So obviously Sadler Lady is a lot more um, popular than the Sadler's home furnishings site. And actually, now that I noticed it for the first time, it actually says Fairbanks back there. I wonder if that's specific to Fairbanks. So I think there's just, there's a little bit of confusion um, going on with Sadler's and Facebook. However, the Sadler Lady page is doing quite well. So just to uh, write that down again, they have no ads running right now, neither at their main page or the Sadler Lady page. The main page only has less than 500 likes, but the Sadler Ladies page has over 37,000 likes. And that's a, that's, that's a pretty popular page. So uh, congratulate them on that. So let's wrap up. So what can we do for your business? 
we can help you get more customers by showing up stronger in Google Map listings for a variety of search results. With some effort put in on your website and Google My Business Profile and related map listings, I can get you on map results for most local searches on your product set. We can discuss and implement a plan to clean up your Facebook presence, perhaps consolidate those pages. I saw that you were tracking a new Facebook Pixel events, which a few Facebook Pixel events, which suggests you have run Facebook ads in the past. And I love to see the architecture of those ad campaigns and the results so I can craft and launch even better, more effective Facebook ad campaigns. How much do we cost? Of course, that depends on what your business needs, which is why I do these videos and then talk to you to develop an action plan specifically tailored to your business. But I can assure you that we are cost effective and provide an excellent return on investment through our unique holistic approach to online marketing and brand management. So give us a call and we'll prepare a free, no obligation online action plan for your business. Thank you for watching. If you would like more information about how we can help your business with some of the issues mentioned in the video and so much more, or if you have a business you want to see me review, then click, call, email Karen or myself, Eric, here at Good News Media Solutions so we can serve your business online marketing needs. Have a great day.